Many users prefer to have their workflow approval items surface in Microsoft Teams. They find it more convenient and often they do not need to open the Dynamics 365 client to approve or reject an item. In this video, we look at how this can be achieved through the combination of workflows, business events and Power Automate. My name is Henrik Marx Larsen and I've been working with Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations and its predecessors since 1997. For many years I worked internationally as an IT professional implementing line of business applications, but today I work as a technology specialist at Microsoft. In the first step, we create a workflow to support approval of ledger journals. Once the workflow has been saved and activated, it automatically becomes a business event in Dynamics 365. We will use this business event to trigger a Power Automate flow, so we need to create and configure the flow. When the flow is in place, I will show how it works from a user perspective through a short demonstration. For our demonstration, I created a simple approval workflow for general ledger journals. The workflow only goes through a single approval step and is sent to David for approval. I then associate the workflow with the journal name record where approval is required. In this case, I've enabled the workflow for the general journal. As you can see, the number of business events have automatically been created. In our example, we will use the business event for the approval workflow item. On the, the right hand side of the screen, you can see the fields which will be sent to the Power Automate flow when the workflow runs. This is called the business event payload. We need to download the schema using the download schema button as we will need it when we configure the Power Automate flow. Now that we have everything we need set up in Dynamics 365, we can move to creating the Power Automate flow. In the next screen, you see an overview of the Power Automate flow and the purpose of each action. We will subsequently go into details with how each action is configured. To trigger the flow, we need to start with the when a business event occurs trigger. The type of flow is automated. When setting up the trigger action, we need to select the correct instance of Dynamics 365 FNO. The business event category we'll be using is workflow work item. Lastly, we need to select the business event linked to the approval item in the workflow. Next, we pass the JSON payload sent with the business event to allow us to use the data later in the workflow. As content, we use the body we received in the trigger action. In one of the previous steps, we downloaded the business event JSON schema. By clicking on the Use Sample Payload to Generate Schema button, we can paste in the schema definition to have it auto-generated for the action.
In the next step, we use the payload from the business event to populate the ledger journal number variable. Within the payload, we receive data related to the source document for the business event as a serialized array. Therefore, we need to use a function to extract characters 11 to 14 in array element 21. This will give us the journal number. This is an example of the serialized data we get from the business event. The arrow points to the journal number in the array. I'm now using the journal number retrieved in the previous step to fetch the journal header record from Dynamics 365. Again, I must select the correct instance of Dynamics 365. I also select the data entity I would like to fetch data from. I use OData query syntax to fetch records with the journal number we hold in the journal number variable. Remember to place single quotes around the variable for correct syntax. From the payload, we also extract the workflow work item instance ID. We need this ID to confirm that the work item has not been updated from another process. With the work item instance ID retrieved in the previous step, we use an OData action called workflow work items validate to query the status of the workflow in Dynamics 365. This action takes the work item instance ID as input variable. If the query returns true, we are OK to continue. Now we start the approval process. In this case, we start the approval and wait for it to complete before completing the remaining part of the flow. We use the inbuilt approve slash reject approval type but we could also use customized outcomes if required. I assign the approval to the workflow user email from the payload. I then use various variables retrieved from the previous step to populate a formatted text to the approver. Lastly, I use the link to the ledger journal provided in the payload to provide the user with a link to open the journal in Dynamics 365, again, if required. Once the approval action has completed, we use the OData action called Workflow Work Items Complete to update the outcome back to Dynamics 365. As you can see, I use the Work Item Instance ID to complete the workflow item and I use data from the approval action to set outcome and comments. Lastly, I use the Work Item Owner to update the workflow item with the correct user. As the final step, I post a message to the Contoso Finance Team Teams channel to let them know the outcome of the approval. So let us look at how it all works. We start the process by creating a new ledger journal. Once the journal has been completed, it can be submitted for approval using the workflow button in the ribbon. This button is only enabled if the journal has been configured for workflow. Once the workflow is executing, the Power Automate flow is automatically triggered by the business event. After a few seconds, David receives an approval request in the approvals app in Teams, as you can see here. David can use the reject or approve buttons to respond. He can also click on the link in the attachments section to open the journal in Dynamics 365. Once David responds, the Power Automate flow will continue and update the work item in the workflow. In the workflow history for the ledger journal, we can now see that David has approved the journal. The last step in the Power Automate flow generates a message in the Contoso Finance Team Teams channel, as seen here. This completes my demonstration on how we can extend workflows in Dynamics 365 into the Teams Approvals app through Power Automate. Thank you for watching.